right, folks. So um, Laravel Dusk, like uh, I, I don't know, uh, developers are almost always wary of, um, of of documentations, and they feel like documentation is something that they should probably avoid at all costs and stuff. Um, but I think the number one method of uh, learning learning Dusk, just like anything else, is their documentation. So here's the deal. So if you want to learn Dusk and you want to learn the ins and outs, uh, almost 70, 80% of your learning is going to be covered uh, with the detailed Laravel documentation that is there. Uh, so all along this series, uh, we're going to follow along uh, the documentation path, and we're also going to add other things that are out of documentation, but the documentation is going to be our primary source of reference. Um, but before, yeah, of course, we need a Laravel installation first, and Laravel 8.8 .8 is out as we speak, so we are just going to start quickly with uh, with Laravel 8.8, .8. and I'm right now in my code folder, and what we're going to do is we are going to do a Good old Laravel new let's say practice, yeah. So we'll wait till the installation is complete. Okay, here we are. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, go into the folder and we are going to open it in code editor so okay so it's starting um starting with of course uh the first thing that we are going to do is the env we are going to take care of the env and what we can do is we can um yeah uh because we're not going to use this env as such uh we are probably not going to make a lot of changes here but i think um, because we already have, uh, let's say, okay, uh, let me quickly, my SQL that you, and it's the root, and let me create, let me create a database. Let's say, let's call it, sorry, that's that. Uh, there you are. So copying the name, we're going to put it here in the env in place of Laravel. We're going to just we're just going to stick or we can simply copy everything and just do a quick touch. Now the, that's the first thing that we have to we actually have to do. We have to create an env dot task dot local file and and what this is going to do is this will. Uh, run Dusk, uh, so Dusk Pract and Root and everything else is copied. Now, uh, there are a lot of tutorials which will, which will probably show you that if you set up an SQLite uh, database, and in my experience, honestly, that's a bit of an overkill. And sometimes, not, not even know an overkill, but certain, um, uh, you know, uh, tests, it starts giving you trouble, so I've tried that, but I think uh, good old MySQL is, is the best thing to do. Uh, one change that you have to do is, or you should do is, you should make it, uh, you should change this local into testing. The uh, rest of it, let's uh, let's keep it that way. Maybe add an 8,000. If you're just using a simple PHP apps itself, it's going to probably, you know, instead of, you know, just local host, it's going to run on local host 8,000. So if that is the case with you, that is the case with me. So I'm changing this if that's not the case, or you're using uh, Relay or, uh, or, uh, Okay, that's the case with me, so that's that's why I'm changing this. Otherwise, you can, if that's not the case with you, or if you're using Laravel Valet or Homestead or anything else, you, and you want to skip that, that's perfectly fine. But you need to change this uh, environment in the dust uh, in the env dot dust local file to testing, and you you just need to add uh, port eight thousand in the end. Rest of the details they just need to remain the same. There's no need to change any of these details. Next thing you need to do is you need to go to config database and in this file if you scroll down you're going to see this MySQL setting uh, you need to actually copy that
All right, and now changing this. All right, coming back, one more change that I forgot to make was, uh, uh, you know, change this as well to, to something like dusk, uh, the DB connection to dusk underscore testing maybe. All right, now when you come here, instead of MySQL, when you copied this MySQL bit, what you can do is, instead of MySQL, you can do, you're going to do dust underscore testing. And you need to change this to dusk cut and root. And that's pretty much it in terms of the database settings, just like everything Laravel, that's, that's super elegant and quick.